you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know him personally, but it seems kind of funny. And he look, he got some Tims on, and they look like they're my size. So if the nigga, <laughs> listen, we got some nice shoes on. Yeah, right. Anyway, y'all give it up, man, for the uh, very talented Loud Oklahoma SF Jones. Come on up here, man. <laughs> What's going on? What's happening? Y'all all right? Uh, good to be here. Glad to be here. Y'all looking good. It's real good to be here. Damn. Wichita Falls, huh? What's up? Hey. Oh, good shit. I'm glad they put this stool up here. And these pants too damn tight. Well, I almost popped my shit trying to press me to get up here early, man. Now, I'm trying to walk up the stairs or take a picture. I ain't want to be disrespectful. We're going past the comedy and shit. I was struggling to get up the stairs, though. But Wichita Falls, man. Y'all look good, man. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. I'm on y'all ragged ass airport. Yeah. I stepped on the plane. I stepped on the plane. I was in the parking lot. Shit. I'm with the baggage claim and nigga threw my bag at me. Talking about claim it, nigga. Claim it. Damn. I got here earlier than something. What's hot as hell out this motherfucker? Damn, Texas, y'all must have your own son out this bitch. It's so hot out here. I see water drinking Gatorade. It's so hot out here. I saw a dog catch a cab. Like, it's too hot out this bitch. Damn. It's good stuff. 2014, man, it was a rough one, wasn't it? It's been a rough year, but it was good. I had some good stuff happen to me, man. Uh, my girl just had a baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My girl just had a baby with another dude, so congratulations to him. He's a sucker. That's that nigga pay for it. Some good looking women up in here, though. Some good looking women. I watched a couple of y'all come in, man. I'm glad y'all came out. Yeah, so y'all got some dusty ones, too, though. Y'all got some real dusty ones. I went to that Maxims last Saturday. Oh, that was the worst strip club I ever been to in my life. It was terrible. Them hoes had more clothes on than I did. Shit. Hell, this one chick really did have a C-section. But she ain't had no kids. How that shit happened? Yeah, had this one rolled up on me. She was like, can I get a tip? I was like, shit. Okay, here you go. I gave her $30. She was like, you want to lap dance with this? I was like, mm mm, yeah. Go buy some more clothes. Put some clothes on. Shit, cut that shit up. I'm tired of getting them grandma titties. Them hoes is really lazy. I seen this one chick shit, she took a smoke break during the dance. What kind of shit is that? Mm, what kind of shit is that? Man. And this one chick, she was so skinny up in there, man. Bitch had a G-string on. But it was saggy at the back. What kind of shit is that? Man. I look good though, man. But it's rough out here though. It's rough out here. Any Air Force in the house? Alright. Okay, we got go again. It's good, man. I heard they changed y'all motto. Yeah, what was it before? I think it was aim high. I heard it change it, but they added more to it. I heard it was aim high. I keep the sexual assault low. Then I bullshit. Lost some freaks in the air for us. I heard you just signed a new recruit though. What's his name? Uh, James Winston. That's good stuff. That nigga bringing crab necks for everybody. Yeah, I thought I was gonna go at Bill Cosby with that one, didn't y'all? Nah, I ain't got that for Bill. But I did read a tweet saying that uh, he's a new spokesman for uh, the Air Force. No means no, goddammit. They don't even learn. And I ain't got nothing else for them. Damn. Tell you what, though. Y'all look good, man. I'm really glad to be here. I'm really glad to be here. But it's rough out there, though. It's rough out there, though. Especially on the dating scene. They is rough. Yeah. Hey, fellas, y'all ever dated a hood chick? I'm talking about like a... Yeah, I'm talking about from the hood hood, like boys in the hood. The wire hood. Minister society hood. That shit'll make or break your night, won't it? Yeah, I picked up this one chick from the projects. It was a bunch of niggas on the stoop. And I ain't talking about African Americans. Nah, uh uh. I ain't talking about black folks. These are some scary niggas, like Omar from the wire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I went walking to pick this chick up. Had to change my walks. I knew the niggas gonna fuck with me. And it was like, say, blood, who are you here to pick up? Oh, shit. Um, I'm here to pick up the center. They're like, oh, okay. Hey, say, no. Blood here to pick up your sister, little bitch ass nigga. Dude stood up like, little bitch, you here to pick up my sister? I'm like, look, man, I ain't little. He's like, okay, okay. The sister come downstairs, oh, don't fuck him up, Lavarius, leave him alone, don't fuck him up, don't do him like you did the last three dudes. Yeah. We went walking back to the car, my stomach getting knots, my heart racing, I pissed myself a little bit. <laughs> Halfway through the night, I dropped that off in the corner, text me when you get in. <laughs> she like, oh, you a little bitch for real. Like, yeah, that may be. But that Omar looking nigga, he ain't about to fuck me. They kill me. The first 48 is not in my future. <laughs> I'm not playing that much. 
day. I think the dating scene is rough altogether because I just think women, you guys just want too much. You, I think you do, especially when it comes to sex. And I was with this one chick, we got through doing it, she rolled over Jonesy, you ready to go again? I said, shit, tomorrow? Hell, you trying to make my blood pressure go up. Two times in one night, bitch, you asking for a miracle. It ain't gonna happen. I was with this other chick, didn't have no problem. Her being the classy lady she was, she pulled out a mag. Now, uh, fellas, all I'm saying is you gotta know yourself. <laughs> I told that bitch to put it away, put it away. That shit's like a trash bag on a hot dog, put that shit away. I tried online dating, it just didn't work out. The ladies I, said, the ladies I meet said I had respect issues. Said I didn't respect them. That's why I had to remind them. How am I supposed to respect you when I met you on fling.com? A site geared towards meeting and fucking. Your username was I got that wet wet underscore raincoat optional. <laughs> and your picture was you, C-section, but you ain't had no kids. How that shit happen? I guess I'll just stick to ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> the way Jesus really wanted us to be. <laughs> rough I had, though, man. You know, I dated all kinds of chick, and this ain't the worst. I dated all kinds of chick. I, uh, I did girl one hand before. And, uh, that ain't no bullshit. Damn, who, who crying? Who, everybody all right? Sure. All right. Well, damn. Damn, she did. Yeah, I dated all kinds of chicks. I dated a chick with my hair before, you know, but it was a birth defect. I didn't know that. When I met the chick, she was snapping on me. I'm like, I know this strictly left-handed bitch ain't picking on me. Okay, that's cool. You want to play that game? That's cool. I can say that bullshit when they say don't feed animals at the zoo. Damn. Read the instructions before you read before you use a blender. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But she was cool though. She was real talented, real talented. Drove a stick with that hand. You know, I, that was some new shit right there. Drove a stick. Yeah. She was real talented. But when you date somebody with a disability like that, you know, you, you got to do things, you know what I'm saying, to make them feel comfortable with themselves. Love self-conscious. So I, I would do things to make them feel better about themselves. My baby girl, give me a massage. She'd be like, I ain't never gained a massage before. Why you ain't never gained a massage before? Well, that's right. You only got one hand. My bad. Oh my God. But shit, we tried it though. And she, and this brother is up here with me. I like it though, man. Please engage. I like when somebody's engaged in the show. So she started working me with that one hand. I'm like, well, damn, girl, the right's kind of tight. She started going back and forth. Because she only got one hand. I'm like, come on, baby girl, work both shoulders. Next thing you know, she don't work that nub now. But that shit felt like I had a weight of books that go with a twisted strap. That shit hurts. <laughs> but she was all right, though. You know, she was real adventurous. Real adventurous. She was like, Jonesy, I'm going to try something. I said, well, damn, you want to try? She was like, I know I ain't no good at giving no massage, but uh, I want to give you a hand job. I'm like, oh, girl, you about to send me the doctor fucking up my skin. <laughs> so after she gave me the hand job, I was like, damn, girl, that's some good shit there. But she was all right. You know, being intimate was really, really hard with her, too, because she was real pretty. She was really beautiful, you know, one hand, I don't, you know, take no points off because she only had one hand, I mean, so she can't juggle, so fucking what, okay? You know, I'm looking at her, like, damn, girl, you're so fine, I'm rubbing her face, you're so fine, you're so soft, you know, she returns the favor, Jones, you're so fine. <laughs> ah. Needless to say, we didn't work out. She left the brother when the circus came into town. She said she felt like Ringling Brothers gave her more opportunities. I lost this bitch to Barnum and Bailey's. That's all right, man. I tell you, it was rough, though. This year was rough. Man. I tell you who had a rough year. It's already been noted. Ray Rice. Hell, niggas in the elevators this year. I swear to God, boy, I get on the elevator with a woman on I get off. You know? I know Jay-Z was like, where the hell was Ray Rice when you need him? <laughs> Solange just been stripping. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know Ray Rice was a boxer. Damn. I thought that nigga played running back. That nigga got a hell of a right hook. You know? And don't get me started on Adrian Peterson. Damn. Shame on that brother for getting caught. Seriously. <laughs> hey, look, man. You know, somebody got to raise these little mugs, man. Because I, I tell you. You know, because if we don't do it, the police will and shit. They, they ain't asking questions. You know what I'm saying? Then the media got to hold up and they like, uh, Ray Rice beat his child with a branch. I'm like, it was a switch. But hell, is that it? Have y'all in here remember how bad y'all got on y'all's kids? Bells. 
race car tracks, your mama's boyfriend's fists, you know, midgets, all kinds of shit, you know? That's rough I had though. I tell you who else had a rough year? Obama. I wish they just leave the damn president alone, you know what I'm saying? They, they criticizing everything he's doing. Cause you know, his policies, what his kids doing, you know, Michelle got on, everything. Hell, you know, niggas jumping over the fence at the White House, but I tell you, it's crazy, though. Know? Now, what happened if the Secret Service went too busy chasing these hoes? You know? That's bad, you know what I'm saying? But they're doing something right on Capitol Hill. They're doing something right up there. Because gas prices ain't been below 240 since 2008. You know what I'm saying? I was breaking up with bitches because they stayed too far. <laughs> bitch, when you stay? Texas, all Canada. Uh -uh, bitch. You gonna have to meet me halfway or come all the way. I started selling Avon to make ends meet, girl. Ladies, holla at me after the show. I got the Mary Kay samples in my truck. Hey, y'all go home smelling good. It's a rough one, though. It's a rough one. I tell you who else had a rough. Poor Bill Cosby. Yeah, they, they're going at my man, you know. That's some bullshit ass shit. That's some bullshit. I mean, two, three, four, five women. I okay. I got it, Bill, you know. But damn near 30 women, that ain't true. But then again, that nigga might have pulled out his damn pudding pop one too many times. Yeah. <laughs> man, it's rough out here, man. Real rough. Tell you who else had it rough. I mean, it's just legit. You know, black men just had it rough this year. It was hard, you know what I'm saying? And this shit got to change, you know what I'm saying? You can't take this shit in 2015. I don't even fuck with the cops no more. Seriously. You know, the cops rolled up and they pulled me over, you know, hands up. They're like, uh, license and registration, please. Mm -hmm, nigga, you can't get that from me, shit. Well, why not? Locked in the glove compartment, and you ain't about to shoot me for mistaking my high power charger for AK-47. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> you ain't about to take me out like that. Rough out this bitch. Man, I'm glad to be here, though, man. Y'all looking good. Y'all looking good. Y'all real good crowd, too, man. Y'all looking beautiful. Shit just beautiful right now, man. I feel like I can be real with y'all. Can I talk to y'all about whatever? I mean, can I open up my heart? You know what I mean? Can I talk to y'all? You know? I like porn. Guilty as charge. You know what I'm saying? But that shit unrealistic though. It'll mess with your mind. You know what I'm saying? I go running all the time and never stumble upon folk. Blood nigga, white women in the woods having a picnic waiting on my black ass. <laughs> you know? You hungry little boy? Hell yeah! <laughs> but you gotta keep up with technology though, man. You, you gotta keep up with technology. I remember when Windows 8 jumped on the scene. You know, with them sliding panels? Yeah, I ain't know how to work it. I'm showing my mama some pictures from this wedding I just came back from. I hit the mouse pad too soft, and I think, you know, my porn popped up. She was like, mm mm. <laughs> Boy, I don't raise you better than that. She right, she right. But then she stepped back, she said, Well, Jonesy, baby? I'm like, Well, yes, ma'am. She was like, uh, What's a facial? Oh, ma, that's when the guy finishes. You know, I can't, I'm, I can't tell you this. This is, this is terrible. <laughs> but then she goes, Well, I know what that is. Your father calls it the money shot. I'm like, Oh, that's. I can't, oh, that's nasty, man. I can't do it. Fellas, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, we always get caught. How we get caught? You know? Because your history be too clean. You know what I'm talking about. You cleared your history before we came out here. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's serious, man. <laughs> Would you be surprised, though? Women struggle with porn just as much as men do. They do. Fellas, so, before you delete your history, check that history. You start to notice the dicks getting bigger and bigger. That's not you, that's her. She looking at what she really wants. And the lesbians in the house, and lesbians, all right, that's fine. I know it's a taboo subject. It's okay. That ain't no wrong with it. So I'm, all, I'm all about free love. You know what I'm saying? Hell. At least we got one thing in common. I like pussy too. It's okay. It's all right. You know, I love it. Hell. Lesbians, you know, I'm at, I think the only sheer difference between the physically obvious is, you know, I can't eat when I'm mad. I figured all y'all gonna get there. I know I saw a short yellow bus outside. Hell, half of y'all motherfuckers on the field trip right now. It's all right, though. I like that. I like that. It's good shit. It's good shit. Yeah. Uh, shit, I'm from South Carolina. Any South Carolinians in here? Nope. Right here. Got the date, man. We got one, you know what I'm saying? They don't play that bullshit. Hey, 803, my man. You know, they don't play that bullshit in South Carolina either. Hey, you're right. There ain't shit going on over there either. They don't play that bullshit in South Carolina, though. You know, they still got slaves. That's their hell. I rolled up, I'm from gas one day, when a nigga rolled up on me and was like, hey, 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 say, brother, well, what you doing putting gas in that automobile? <laughs> Master gonna get you for putting gas in there. And who taught you how to read? 
first of all, I'm like, nigga, where your shoes at? <laughs> Second of all, what you talking like that for, man? It's 2014. Hell, we done been free for over 150 years, and we got a black president. Ain't like you gonna stand there over there talking all that bullshit with that blaspheme. First of all, I don't even know what the hell you just said. All right? But I'll stand any way you want me to, but still the truth, we got a black president. Nigga just laughed at me. Grabbed his stick with everything he owned, the bandana, just charged the water, just walked away. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Shit, it's crazy out here, man. I'm having a good time, though, you know? I like doing this. You know, I like seeing, you know, people smile and laugh, because I think that's, you know, that's medicine to the world. You know what I'm saying? Open up, you gotta laugh, get the shit out sometimes. That's all we got, you know? That's all we got sometimes. But we do have a church, though. We do have a church. You know, I like my brother talking about it. Church is all right. How many of y'all still, still go to church? Oh, good job, all for you. Jesus loves you. Okay. Hell, I just stopped going. I couldn't afford it no more. I knew the third time that collection plate came around, shit, this was a ripoff. Jesus don't need all that money. We're talking about a man who turned water to wine. Surely they can do more with my dollar. Shit. Besides, I'm tired of paying for the reverence gas money. You know, we've been talking about getting new new pews for years, but yet still I'm picking out splinters out of my ass every Sunday. <laughs> Hell, but the first thing she's sitting pretty though, ain't she? She looking good though, that brand new beam. That's how it always is, you know. She's hair now stay done. She's so fancy. We already know her and pastor still in all your dough. <laughs> Sick I am, man. I got an uncle that's a preacher. You know, worst preacher ever. This nigga be misquoting the Bible. And, and John 3.16 states that that's the bottom line because Jesus said so. Look at that stone cold. That stone cold. You know, this nigga be quoting rappers. And when the Romans came to get Jesus, Peter pulled out a knife and said, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Nigga, that's Tupac. That's Tupac. He be using the N-word in the Bible. Nah, I don't know why I just said N-word, because I done said nigga about 3,700 times already, but Lord forgive these niggas, because these niggas know not what they do. <laughs> but he a trip though, man, he a trip. I saw him a couple weeks ago, and he was like, uh, boy, you looking kind of good. You looking strong there, man. I mean, when I was your age, I used to come up about 17 times. I'm like, shit, you must have had 16 niggas with you. If you <laughs> wasn't coming by yourself. <laughs> it's all right, though, man. I like church. I like church. You know, I like the deacons, you know what I'm saying? Because the deacons, you know what I'm saying, they're a tight-knit group, aren't they? They know all your business. You know, I know the preacher know all your business, but the deacons, they know everything about you. They know who's selling, we, you know, they know who's buying, we, you know what I'm saying? They know who broke, all of us. You know, they know who giving the ass up, pushing the ass, because they the one, they the ones behind it. Hell. <laughs> you know, I like deacons, they all right. But they didn't want to mentor to you, you know what I'm saying? Say, brother, can I help usher you into the spirit of the Lord? Mm -mm, no, nah, nigga, you can't help me. Hell, when somebody need to pray for you, we put dollars in the same strip of booty last night. Damn. I see where you like to drink your provocier from. You know they make cups, don't you? Nasty bastard. She ain't never gonna be the same. Nasty nigga. You know? But it's real, though, you know what I'm saying? It's real. You know, everybody, every church got that one old lady you know, no matter what's going on, what's going on, she gonna hop on the mic, she gonna give a testimony, she gonna say what she got to say. You know what I'm saying? She gonna sing a song that ain't got nothing to do with church. But that's church though. You know, we go to church and you got the reverend, he rolled up and he like, uh, I'm the reverend Lovejoy. And I appreciate you all dropping your money in the bucket because we gonna reach that goal. We gonna get them brand new pews, we gonna get that brand new church building, and we gonna get that brand new beam. Ugh, church views. Uh, now before I'm followed by Sister Jenkins with the morning announcements, what I'd like you all to do is just, you know, give a warm welcome to my beautiful, sensual, sultry, spiritually sexual first lady, Sister Cinnamon Lovejoy. All right, y'all, thank you. Now I'll be followed by Sister Jenkins for the morning announcements. Now Sister Jenkins has been to church for over 20 years, so, just like the deacon, she know all your business, but you know, obviously she looked this strong. She come up there, you know, she snatched the mic, she uh, nigga. Give an honor to God, I know good pastor, and I feed the first lady. 
Uh, this morning I have just one announcement and it is for the youth group. The foria is not for twerking, okay? I say the foria is not for twerking. Y'all gonna catch Ebola out there, John Raymond carrying on. Hell, I know half of y'all young things working for the deacons. Uh, last night, as I fell asleep on the couch watching my shows, the Lord put a song in my heart, and I'd like to share with you all if that's okay. Preacher chime in, hey, look at baby girl, sit on down now. If you're done with the announcement, sit on down. She just look at her. <laughs> don't interrupt me. I don't interrupt the Lord, so don't you do so, okay? <laughs> now, if you all know the words to this song, I encourage you all to sing along, okay? <sighs> it was a rare condition. In this day and age, you read the good news on the newspaper plate. Love and conditions is the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. all I see. As a towel of dreams, a real little busting out of every scene. Days gone by, it's the gentle love of my Jesus. <laughs> this bitch just fell asleep watching Family Matters. That's <laughs> yeah, crazy, man. But it's rough though, right? It's a rough one, man, but you gotta keep it real, man. You gotta keep it on there. And, uh, Holidays, you know, everybody have a good Thanksgiving? Yes. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving? All right, well, I think uh, it seems like two. That's good shit. Not me, though, man. I don't like going home. I mean, I just don't, you know. I just realized my mama two-faced. Yeah, my mama two-faced in the shits. Every time I bring a girl home, she talks shit about me and the girl when I leave. And the first thing she said, we don't work out. I knew y'all weren't gonna make it. Well, damn, why you ain't saying that? Shit, I thought you'd be able to recognize the thought by now. I guess, I guess you get that shit from your father. I'm like, well, damn. You know, brought a girl home last shit for Thanksgiving. My mom was talking all kinds of shit. She was like, look here, I don't know why my boy be bringing on these old ratchet ass hoes. Hell, I thought he'd be able to recognize one by now. This half I got the nerve to ask me, is this canned cranberry sauce or real cranberries? Bitch, of course they can. What you think this is? Hey, nobody got time to cook no turkey and turn around and smash up no cranberries? Hell, is this gluten-free macaroni? What the fuck do you think you are? Hey, bitch, you gotta eat these macaronis? And you tell that little heifer, don't be coming up in here with no Tupperware like she part of the family. Like she leaving with a plate. Oh, dry ass bitch. You know, but I learned a lot about relationships from my family, though. You know, really, I did. You know, I learned what kind of life not to be for my brother. You know, everybody got that one sibling, you know, that's been lying about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let's be just lying. You know, I called my brother. I'm like, hey, man, how you doing? Man, I'm good, man. You got me a new job. Say word. Yeah, man. Got me a job working for the police. Okay, what do you do? Yeah, they got me the special victims unit. Special victims unit, man. Who, who are your bosses? Oh, man, they got me working for Stabler and, uh, and uh, uh, Benson. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that's long about the SVU. Stop lying, man. You know? But you learn a lot from your family, though. I did. I learned a lot about uh, relationships with my family. You know? I know my dad, uh, I, I learned a good bit from him. But, you know, it was confusing, though. Real confusing. You know, he's part of the reason I got relationship issues now. See, the thing about my dad was, you know, when he would argue with my mom, he would threaten insult and compliment all at the same time. So she was real confused with growing up, you know what I'm saying? Now most men, they get off work, and uh, you know, they want 20, 30 minutes of quiet time to get their dorm together, right? Some cold out the fridge, and some holiday. My dad come on me like, look here, he run into this. Look, I asked you last night, all right, do you want beans? Hey, say, say, brother. Say, brother. Hey, brother. Oh, hit the volume, hit the volume, brother. All right, let me do this set. Damn, you ain't sorry yet, man. Yeah, yeah. And again, you know, my dad come home, he wants some 
quiet, but he running to my mom and she like, well shit, look here, I asked you last night, do you want beans or rice? Hell, beans or rice. Don't be coming at me with that bullshit, Georgia. Look, I told your ass last night I want mom and the grits and potatoes. You don't listen with your fine ass. Looking like Pam Grier out of the 70s, girl. Hey, keep on your mama beat your ass like the pimps used to. Hey, I don't want to hear that shit, girl. Keep on your mama take your ass out. To that brand new restaurant on the corner, 29 after 30, girl. I'm taking them to leave there, girl. Yeah, and get rid of that damn Jerry Curl. It's 2014. I thought you liked my Jerry Curl. Back in 89, shit, get rid of that shit, girl. <laughs> you know? I learned a lot about relationships with my family. You know, I learned a good bit. I learned a whole lot, you know? I know if I need to know the truth about something, you know, a female or something, I go to my sister. She ain't pulling no punches. She kept real, she was real militant out of all of us. So I rolled up on an AZ girl, she's thinking her. You talking about that, that hole over there? You know what's up, my family called my girl thoughts. Damn, what y'all seeing that I ain't seen? <laughs> you know? You look at you gonna leave that one alone. Why you say that? Let's just say when I saw her, she was with that old tall thug, light skinned nigga, Lavarius. Damn! She's thinking, I got me again. Ah, okay, okay. They say he a baller now. Why you say that? Well, when I seen them at churches, let's just say she was ordering a three-piece instead of a two-piece with your broke ass. I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> That's good stuff though, man. I know one thing I learned, you know, watching my family operate, yeah, especially the women. Hopefully the mic. Okay, cool. I ain't, I ain't never rehearsed that part before. Put the mic on the thing. You know what I'm saying? One thing I watched, you know, watching the women in my family operate is, is uh, you know, older women. You know, I like older women. You know what I'm saying? Older women, y'all seem like y'all got y'all shit together. Seem like it anyway. You know what I'm saying? When I say older women, I'm talking about, you know, 33 and up. You know, not at, not at 30 because, well, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because you still trying to hold on to your 20s, do that shit them young girls doing, and you ain't built for that no more. You know what I'm saying? You know that. Yeah, because I ain't got no time to be teaching no young chick how to handle this thing. You know what I'm saying? I need somebody that's ready now. Young chick be asking more questions than the damn police. Well, why I got to put this in my mouth? And why I look like that? And why I gotta take this plan B? I don't remember taking plan A. <laughs> Bitch, take this pill, take this pill. Some people shouldn't be allowed to have babies and you wanna take this pill. You don't know, like older women. Y'all got your own money. Y'all know my young ass ain't got no money. Shit. All I got for a young, all I got for an old chick is dick and bubble gum. And I ran out of bubble gum before I came up in this bitch. Holla at me, you know. I like, I like old women. Y'all you know, seem like y'all got it together and everything, that's cool. Hell, you know, I think young chicks, they messy. They really, really messy, you know what I'm saying? I'm down in Jacksonville, hell, meeting up with these young hoes. Mistake number one, it was hoes. And then I guess the code amongst them was if I was ugly, they were gonna cough. <laughs> you know? Let me tell y'all something, man. When I met these hoes, I thought these bitches had the flu. You know, they was all, uh, 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 uh. But I wasn't mad at them, though. I watched these hoes get off the bus. This other nigga had a car. So again, ladies, don't sleep on the other nigga. The other nigga put it up on you. You know what I'm saying? I like old women, though, man. Y'all all right. And then the old woman, she ain't got no problem telling you how it is. You know what I'm saying? She gonna tell you how she like it. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got no time for no self-discovery with no young chick. Old woman be like, mm-hmm, that's right. Lick here, baby. Mama good and ready now. I mean, I like that. Young chick, y'all, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, damn, you done came on? I don't even know. But the video on You gotta figure that shit out. You know? And I don't think this one chick, uh, she was 36 years old. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she would always tell me, you know, Johnny Mac, look, don't ever be afraid of the way you feel, okay? Because it's real love. You know the song? And I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, if I'm ever on the phone and I'm firing off the hammer, you just tell me to shut up. Tell me to shut up. Now, fellas, you know that shit too good to be true. And ladies, you know we ain't no good at reading in between the lines. What the fuck is that shit about? So we on the phone having a conversation about all things, of course. Uh, yeah, we're talking about Ray Rice. And we're trying to figure out who was at fault. Now, I said it was the wife's fault. Well, damn, you know, usually it's like, well, nigga, you wrong, you dirty. Well, she was like, you wrong, and a, a man ain't supposed to hit no girl, and all, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, damn. Okay, okay, okay. So she says, uh, I, well, I finally used this opportunity to tell her to shut up. You know, but to shut up. You know, it's quiet on the phone for a little while. I'm like, well, damn, okay. I'm at Jones, girl, I don't need that shit. 
Next thing you know, I hear, oh, I'm about to hang up in your face. Girl, don't you hang the click. Ooh, this bitch done hung up in my face. She better be glad we ain't no elevator right now. She better be glad. And then, you know, I get mad. But at, but at first, you know, I thought to myself, well, number one, I'm young and I'm handsome, okay? I don't need this shit. I'm taking a stand. It's real, okay? Hell. Number two, I'm always faithful. Sometimes. Only time, I, only time I cheat is when I come out here and do these shows and shit, all right? So I'm faithful 50% of the time, all right? And number three, hell, I just got paid this Friday night. DJ, please. You said I'm about to fuck you. Fuck that bitch. 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 You know, so it's real. I don't need that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that shit, you know? Damn. Just make sure you know. <laughs> Friday night, come along. I go out and about. I'm having a good time. I'm out jamming. You ladies better watch out because I'm going home with somebody tonight. It's real. Nothing happened. <laughs> Saturday, come along. And Saturday's a weird day because usually my phone's ringing off the hook. This time, I ain't getting that damn phone call. I'm like, well, damn. Usually my boys hit me up with something. Maybe you want to play basketball? I don't think I don't, I don't do that shit. Y'all niggas too serious for me. I ain't a ball, you know. Seven o'clock in pregame, in the pregame, the pregame. You know, you know what that means. You you start sipping, you start taking shots a little too early, but you you feeling right though. Next thing you know, hell, I get a text. Now this is what I learned. You never underestimate the smoothness of a woman. I mean, you just don't. Seven o'clock, or a little later than I get a text message. Ah, uh, you know, I know I ain't talked to my baby in over 24 hours, so hell, you know, she got to be devastated. I read this text message that says, that's great. I can't wait, I can't wait even to see you at eight. LOL smiley face. I'm like, well, who the fuck? She ain't talking about me. Who she about to go out with? I ain't gonna let her ruin my night. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna have me a good time. Saturday night, it's real. Ladies better watch out. Next thing you know, I'm about to get, I'm getting ready to walk out the door. I get another text message, you know? It must be a, a, a apology text message because hell, you know, my phone autocorrects sometimes, so she got to be apologizing, you know? I check this text message, it says, oh, I remember how we used to do back in the day, L-V, L-O-L, L-M-A-O, smile face, wink face, exclamation point. Well, who the fuck is L-V? How they used to do it back in the day, and why she laughing her ass off? <sighs> I ain't gonna let her ruin my night. My night's ruined. I ain't having no damn fun. You know, I'm out going through the motions here. You know, every time I check my phone, I ain't got a missed call, I don't have nothing. Damn. Sunday morning comes along, I'm thinking to myself, hell, I'm teaching this bitch a lesson, but I'm the one that's, uh, you suffer for it. What the fuck is that about? You know, I'm laying in the bed sad. I say to myself, you know, Jones, get up and go to church. But I don't, though, because I can't afford it. So, <laughs> half the day go by, hell, I don't went from fuck that bitch to DJ. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sad now, hell. Half the day done gone by, I'm about to give up hope. Next thing you know, my phone rang. I don't even look at it, I just pick it up. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, but yeah, that's right, it's me. Uh-huh. Well, look here, girl, don't call here with that bullshit no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear that shit no more. Right, right. All right. Love you too, Grandma. Damn. You know, because it ain't never who you want to be when you're going through some shit, is it? Nah, I'm just about ready to give up hope all together. Next thing you know, my phone don't ring again. Now, I looked at it this time. It's my baby. But I don't pick it up too quick. Oh, no, 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 you don't do that shit. You know, I got a little sweat, you know? Cause I don't wanna seem too desperate when I pick the phone up, right? But I can't let it ring too long, cause if she hang up, I gotta call back, I lose the upper hand. Maybe you know how that shit work. I pick it up, but I gotta be as smooth as possible. Cause again, I don't wanna sound too desperate. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, girl, I don't wanna do nothing. You know I ain't go out this weekend. You know how I do, reading the Bible, girl. <laughs> what scriptures, oh shit. Uh, uh, the Levitra 6-6 six, six and uh, Seattle 6-9. <laughs> yeah, girl, you know the ones at the back of the Bible. The scripture get real small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I can't hold on to this shit no more. Who the fuck is LV? Why he got you laughing your ass off? And what the fuck was you doing all the weekend? And here again, you know, you never underestimate the smoothness of a woman. She goes, well, first of all, don't be cursing at me, okay? And second of all, I was out with Levarius all weekend. Damn, this life's getting nigga got me again. You know, and third of all, I bet you won't tell me to shut up again. Click, ooh, this bitch don't look in my face again. But you never underestimate the smoothness of a woman. You just don't do it. You know? What's crazy the thing about it is, young chicks and older women, you know, they break up with you differently, don't they? Seems like a, a, a young chick trying to take your soul when she break up with you. You know what I'm saying? Old chick, she just let it ride, you know? Uh, 
Ooh, we have another one. Uh, we good? Okay. <laughs> you know, old chick, you know what I'm saying? It's like, a young chick, she try to take your soul when she break up with you. I had this one chick break up with me, she like, ah, nigga, you lame. That's a little hand move they do when they, when they take the pieces from you. Ah, nigga, you lame. You a little boy. You a little bitch. <laughs> I'm like, look here, girl, I ain't little, but your dick is. The only reason you wear tens is because you short, nigga. I was smashing the various anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's 2014, and your mama still got a dick, girl. I'm like, damn, this bitch trying to take my soul away, you know? But uh, I guess I'm being flagged off. I thought my brother had a whole hour, but okay, okay, here we go. So what I usually like to do is uh, I like to leave you with something clean and something wholesome you can actually take back to your family, okay? Something that you can say you know, to your coworkers and shit, you won't get fired or slapped for it. So I don't have no kids, but my nephew, man, he's, he's, the, he's my world, I love him to death. And uh, little brother, you know what I'm saying, invited me to bring your favorite adult day, right? To his class. And the teachers put on something special for us, you know, to show us a little something, something. And, uh, all right, here we go. So, kids was like, they had to use the word definitely in a sentence. First little girl stand up with all her swag and says, uh, Ms. Johnson, definitely. The sky is definitely blue. She's like, you're wrong. The sky is not definitely blue. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's gray. Depends on what kind of time it is, depends on what weather. That's what all, no, you're wrong, sit down. Second little boy stands up and he goes, well, Ms. Johnson, the grass is definitely brown. She's like, oh, you are definitely wrong. The grass is green, brown, depends on what time of year it is. You are wrong. Third little boy stands up and says, well, Ms. Johnson, when you pass gas, is it supposed to be chunky? Uh, no, no. Well, then I definitely shit my pants. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm Seth Jones, man. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the laugh. I'm out of here. Y'all give it up.